it. When we've not played well this year, uh, that's one thing that I think we have in common, that we've had a, a higher turnover day than maybe we would like. So I think in particular, you get into the tournament, you have to take advantage of uh, taking care of the ball. Coming into the round of 64, how has this week been a little bit different? I mean, it just feels different. You need to get the buzz around. You got the feeling of the tournament. Um, it's a lot of our guys' first times here, so we're all really excited and we're ready to play. Your name has been floated out there a lot on national TV, on Twitter. How have you been handling the attention? Uh, really, I mean, I really don't try not to think about it that much. I'm really just focused on the team and my guys. But, um, I mean, all that's good, but it just comes with winning, and that's what I'm more focused about with the team, just trying to win and uh, advance. So you guys are a three seed. Basuli just told me before that he views you guys as an underdog. Is there an underdog mentality to this team? Uh, yeah, definitely. Just because um, some of the games that we've lost, we know they could have di been different ways. We could have been a higher seeding. Uh, I feel like everyone on the team knows how what we're capable of, and uh, we just wanted to show that. What are you most focused on for this Kennesaw State team? Because they are a scrappy group. Yeah, uh, really take care of the ball and then just doing what we do, um, our transition game, our offensive game, um, playing good on defense. So we're really just worried about that. But yeah, Kennesaw, um, they're really active on defense. They love to reach in and get steals. So we definitely have to take care of the ball. So much success in the tournament historically comes down to guard play. How have you been kind of locking in on maybe your game needing to be a little bit different this week? Um, yeah, just really having that do whatever it takes mindset. I mean, I know all of our guards, we have great guards. So um, I feel like as long as we do what we do, we're going to have success. When you're a three seed, you never want to see a teen go on to the next round. What's it going to take for you to avoid kind of saw state pulling off the upset? Uh, really just doing what we do. If we do what we do at a high level and what we've been doing all year, I feel like that takes care of itself. But, um, yeah, really just playing hard, play as hard as we can. I feel like those two things will come down to a win. Tomorrow, the lights will come on. You'll be walking out onto the court. What are you most looking forward to in the NCAA tournament? Uh, really, I just want to take it, take it all in, take it all because it's my first time playing. So um, just really take it in because I remember this moment for life. So um, I'm really just excited just to be playing, but also want to uh, come in and get out, come out with a win. So yeah. What kind of advice has Adam given you since he's won a game in this tournament? Um, yeah, he's just saying it's a big stage, but um, just try to play a play our game, and um, I feel like just do what I've always been doing my whole life, my whole career here. And that's pretty much what he's told me. What about Coach Miller? Because he, when he was here, the last time you guys were three seed, you guys went on to the Elite Eight. Has there been any talk of expectations and leaning on Coach Miller's experience? Uh, no, nah, not not really expectations set by him because he knows um, it's just one game at a time. You can't win them all if you don't win the first one. So I'm um, really just focused on the f one game and then the next game after that. We're not really looking forward to um, the future. When you walk away from here, what needs to be done for you to say this was a, su a successful run? I uh, really just feel like we didn't get outplayed. I feel like that's the biggest thing. If we lose and we played a hard time, I mean, hats off to the other team, but we can't get outplayed. Awesome, Colby. Thanks. Wait, one more question. The turnover rock. What are your thoughts on it? Uh, I like it. I mean, I'm glad. I'm really glad I don't have it this week because it's really heavy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like it's a great little, little object to unify us, and I feel like it's been good. Okay, Jack, 3C. The last time Xavier was a 3C, they went on to the Elite Eight. Is there any talk of anything like that? Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm sure we've all, you know, seen the tweets or whatever or just, you know, Tom talking about it. But, um, you know, this is a different team. Um, we're going to have to draw on each other. It's not like, you know, because we're a 3C, we're guaranteed to make a run. You know, it's, it's going to be a battle every single game. You know, every team is fighting for their season, and um, we're just going to have to make the most of every opportunity we get going forward. There's been so much talk of this team being extremely experienced, however, not a lot of experience in the tournament. As a leader, how do you guys combat that? Yeah, I think, you know, we all we all have different experiences that we've been in, you know. Like last year we were in the NIT. We were kind of playing with uh, in a tournament where if you lose, you go home. So I think that, you know, that kind of we can draw on that. But also, um, you know, listen to Adam Kunkel. He's been in, in these type of games and, you know, it's going to be a it's going to be a fight no matter what. Um, so we're just going to have to kind of just lock in and do what we do and um, just play our game. How does the winning the NIT, because you brought it up, how did that help prepare you for this stage? Yeah, I think, you know, just anytime you're in a, a tournament where it's you lose or go home, um, or win or go home, sorry. Um, you know, you just, you, you know what the fight takes, you know, you're fighting for your season, you're fighting to, you know, stay around these guys for a little bit longer and um, you're fighting for each other. And I think that that's what we really just need to draw on going forward. Being a three seed, taking on a 14 seed, Kennesaw State, they're a scrappy group. How do you make sure you're not just looking to the round of 32? 
Yeah, we just, um, I mean, you can't take any opportunity for granted. I mean, you know, they're a great team. They won a lot of games. Um, they play in a, a tough league, and, you know, they're also fighting for their season. You know, it's March, so anything can happen. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really just going to be a true test for our team going forward because, you know, if we don't do what, what we're supposed to out there, you know, we can, it could be our last game. You know, our season could end tomorrow. And so I think we're really just going to have to um, just leave it all out there. Nobody, when you're a top seed, wants to see that double-digit seed in the next round. What do you need to do to avoid that? Yeah, I think, you know, we're going to have to play our offense. We're going to have to take care of the ball. Um, that's going to be a huge emphasis because they're a really good team at, at turning um, other teams over. over and um, we're going to have to take advantage of our size inside, um, you know, crashing the glass, playing good defense, you know, things that we've been working on, um, you know, throughout the year to get better at. We're just going to have to keep, keep focus and uh, get better at that as we go forward. This is a veteran group, and you mentioned, and we spoke about earlier how there's not that much tournament experience, but there's a lot of faces that are going to be leaving. How much have you been taking the time to kind of just enjoy all this with your guys? Absolutely. I mean, I feel like, you know, when we were watching the, the tournament on Sunday night at Cintas Center, you know, that was just just pure joy from, from everybody. I mean, that's what, you know, all the lifts in the summer, all the wor extra workouts they get in, you know, just getting shots up late at night. You know, this is kind of what it's for. And so I think, you know, we're just going to have to um, really just soak it all in, but also, you know, understand that if we don't take care of business, then our season could be over. I'm glad you brought up the Cinta Center watch party because when you guys were announced about 30 seconds before, I saw you lean over and you were talking to Coach Miller about something, almost like you thought there was no way your name was going to be called a three seed. Is there any truth to that? <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, we were all kind of expecting, you know, four, three, I mean, maybe even a five. You know, it's Selection Sunday, so really it's all up to the tournament committee. And, um, yeah, I feel like definitely I, I was a little bit shocked because, I mean, I don't know. I, you just wasn't expecting it, I guess. So it was just a, it was just a, a good joy moment for us. And um, yeah, I was, that was just a good time for sure. It's just a great piece of video. You see you, they're about to say your name. You guys are leaning back. You're talking to Coach Miller. Do you remember what you were saying to him then? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe talking about, um, you know, where we were going to go. You know, me and Coach were talking a little bit. He's like, watch, this is us. This is us. Like three <laughs> different times. And it, it didn't happen. And, and then, of course, the one time we weren't looking, he didn't say anything. It was us. So. Um, yeah, that was just that was a good good time for sure. One more quick question: the turnover rock. What are your thoughts on that being a thing on this team? <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's a I feel like it's just a great you know mental thing to lock in. I mean when you're carrying this this big heavy rock around all the time, and you're just hearing over and over in your head, protect the rock, protect the rock. You know, um, I've had the rock. I feel like a lot of us have had the rock, and you know we really know what it takes to take care of that rock. And so I feel like the emphasis is just that bigger during games. How heavy is it? Oh, I actually when I had the rock, I had to know. So I said on the scale is about 15 pounds. So, what's the best smack anyone said to you, or you dished out to anyone else who had to hold the rock? Uh, it's I don't know. I feel like a guy who has the rock, you know, he has all the power, and so you're gonna maybe treat him a little bit nicer, so he doesn't hand it to you, or you know, vice versa. If someone hands you the rock, you feel a little bit you know, slighted by them because they're like, you have to carry the rock now. But I mean, it's all in good spirit. You know, I feel like we kind of understand what it's all about, and um, you know, we're doing a great job at bringing it around and taking care of it. And it's a it's a good good little thing to have around. The tournament so often comes down to guard play, and you've been one of the most exciting guards in the country this year. What's on your mind as you get ready for the game one? Um, just come out, play hard, do do what I do, do what the teammate, do what my teammates want me to do, what my coaches want me to do, and just play my game. And you know everything will take care of itself. There's been so much chatter this year about how you might be one of the best transfers in the country. How do you kind of keep that all in check? Um, just not think about it at all. You know, my work and preparation takes care of itself. Um, throughout the season, I never thought about that or, you know, was worried about it. I just wanted to play for my team, my teammates, my, the university and my coaches. So that all took care of itself. Kennesaw State, what challenges do they present for you? Uh, they're very scrappy defensively. Um, they're going to get up in you, uh, and that's what they do, and that's going to be a challenge that we have to accept. That's what, like you said, we got the turnover rock, so we got to take care of the ball and um, just get out there and push our pace and try to try to put our pace up on them on their scrappy defense. What's your feelings on the turnover rock? Uh, I feel like it's very good. I feel like it keeps us narrow-headed on what, what our challenges is throughout this, the rest of the season because when we take care of the ball, take care of the rock, we, um, we're right there to win every game, it don't matter.